Hakim Elijuan. Hey everyone, welcome again to our channel. We're diving into the fascinating life and career of an NBA legend, the sports Hakim Elijuan. In this video, we'll walk you through his journey from his early days in Lagos to becoming one of the most respected sports icon. We'll talk about his childhood, college days, illustrious NBA career. Along the way, we'll explore his personal life, achievements, and the lasting legacy he's built. So stick around to the end. And if you like what you see, don't forget to like, comment, and share. Now, let's get into it. Born in Lagos, Nigeria, Hakim Olajuwon traveled from his home country to play for the University of Houston under head coach Guy Lewis. His college career for the Cougars included three trips to the Final Four. Hakim was drafted by the Houston Rockets with the first overall selection of the 1984 NBA Draft, a draft well known for its immense talent, which also included players such as Michael Jordan, Charles Barkley, and John Stockton. Hakim Olajuwon is a Nigerian-American former professional basketball player who played center in the National Basketball Association NBA for the Houston Rockets and the Toronto Raptors. From 1984 to 2002, he played for the Houston Rockets and, in his last season, the Toronto Raptors. He led the Rockets to back-to-back -back NBA championships in 1994 and 1995 and was inducted into the Basketball Hall of Fame in 2008 and the FIBA Hall of Fame in 2016. He is widely considered to be one of the greatest centers, as well as one of the greatest basketball players of all time. He became the first non-American to be an NBA All-Star and start in an NBA All-Star game, the first non-American to win the NBA MVP, the first non-American to win NBA Defensive Player of the Year, and in the 1993-1994 season, became the first player in NBA history to win the NBA's MVP, Defensive Player of the Year, and Finals MVP awards in the same season. The Rockets' 1994 championship against the New York Knicks was the first in franchise history, with Hakeem avenging his college championship loss to Patrick Ewing. The following year, after a lackluster regular season, Hakeem's Rockets swept Shaquille O'Neal's Orlando Magic in four games in the NBA Finals. In 1996, Elijah was a member of the Olympic gold medal winning United States national basketball team and he was selected as one of the 50 greatest players in NBA history. In October 2021, Hakeem was honored as one of the league's greatest players of all time by being named to the NBA 75th anniversary team. He ended his career as the league's all-time leader in blocks, 3,830, and is one of four NBA players to record a quadruple double. Hakim was born on January 21, 1963 in Lagos, Nigeria. His parents were Salim and Abaika Lajuan, working-class Yoruba owners of a cement business in Lagos, Nigeria. He was the third of eight children, and he credits his parents with instilling virtues of hard work and discipline into him and his siblings. During his youth, Hakim was a soccer goalkeeper which helped give him the footwork and agility to balance his size and strength in basketball and also contributed to his shot-blocking ability. Hakeem did not play basketball until the age of 15 in high school when he entered a local tournament while at the Muslim Teachers College in Lagos, Nigeria. Hakeem emigrated from Nigeria to play basketball at the University of Houston under Cougars coach Guy Lewis. Hakim was not highly recruited and was merely offered a visit to the university to work out for the coaching staff based on a recommendation from a friend of Lewis who had seen Hakim play. He led the team to three consecutive Final Four appearances but lost the national championship game twice, in 1983 to North Carolina State and in 1984 to Georgetown. He was named the Final Four Most Outstanding Player in 1983 and the consensus first-team All-American and the NCAA rebounding leader in 1984. He also won the Southwest Conference Player of the Year Award in 1984. He left college after his junior year and entered the NBA draft. About Hakim Olajuwon personal life, Hakim married Dahlia Safi, a Moroccan woman, in 1996 in Houston. They have four kids, Abi, Rama, and Aisha. Hakim also has an older daughter, Abai Sola, from a previous relationship with Lita Spencer, whom he met in college. Abai Sola represented the West Girls in the McDonald's All-American Game 
and played in the WNBA. In addition to English, Hakim is fluent in French, Arabic, and Yoruba. He wrote his autobiography, Living the Dream, with co-author Peter Nobler in 1996. Hakim is a devout Muslim who observes fasting during Ramadan and performs the Hajj pilgrimage to Mecca. Hakim signed a five-year agreement for $2.5 million to endorse Etonic shoes with a signature line, the Dream Shoe. Later in his career, signed a shoe endorsement deal with LA Gear and became the face of Spalding's athletic shoe line and endorsed a sneaker that retailed in various outlets, such as Payless Shoe Source, for $34.99. This made him one of the very few well-known players in any professional sport to endorse a sneaker not from Nike, Reebok, Adidas, or other high-visibility retail brands. He stands at a height of 2.13 meters tall. About Hakeem Olajuwon's professional career, the Rockets had immediate success during Hakeem's rookie season, as their win... Loss record improved from a 29 to 53 record in 1983 to 1984 to 48 to 34 in 1984 to 1985. He teamed with the 1984 Rookie of the Year, 7 feet 4 inches, 2.24 meters, Ralph Sampson to form the original NBA Twin Towers duo. Hakeem averaged 20.6 points, 11.9 rebounds, and 2.68 blocks in his rookie season. He finished as runner-up to Michael Jordan in the 1985 Rookie of the Year voting and was the only other rookie to receive any votes. Hakeem averaged 23.5 points, 11.5 rebounds, and 3.4 blocks per game during his second pro season, 1985-1986. The Rockets finished 51-31 and advanced all the way to the Western Conference Finals where they faced the defending champion Los Angeles Lakers. The Rockets won the series fairly easily, for games to one, shocking the sports world and landing Hakeem on the cover of Sports Illustrated. Hakeem gained a reputation as a clutch performer and as one of the top centers in history based on his performances in the 1993 to 1994 and 1994 to 1995 seasons. He outplayed centers such as Patrick Ewing, David Robinson, Shaquille O'Neal, and Dikembe Mutombo, and other defensive stalwarts such as Dennis Rodman and Karl Malone. Many of his battles were with his fellow Texas-based rival David Robinson of the San Antonio Spurs. In the 30 head-to-head -head matchups during the seven seasons from the 1989 to 1996, when both Hakeem and Robinson were in their prime, Hakeem averaged 26.3 points per game, shooting 47.6% from the field, while Robinson averaged 22.1 and 46.8%. Hakeem led the Rockets to a championship in the 1994 NBA Finals in a seven-game series against the New York Knicks, the team of one of Hakeem's perennial rivals since his collegiate days, Patrick Ewing. In Game 7, Hakeem posted a game, high 25 points and 10 rebounds, which helped defeat the Knicks, bringing the first professional sports championship to Houston since the Houston Oilers won the American Football League Championship in 1961. Hakeem dominated Ewing in their head to head matchup, outscoring him in every game of the series and averaging 26.9 points per game on 50% shooting, compared to Ewing's 18.9 and 36.3%. For his efforts, Hakeem was named NBA Finals Most Valuable Player. Hakeem was traded to the Toronto Raptors for draft picks, the highest of which was used by Houston to draft Bojan Nakber at number 15 in the 2002 NBA Draft, with the player having a three-year contract that would give him $18 million. In his first game with the Raptors, he scored 11 points in just 22 minutes of playing time against the Magic. Hakeem averaged career lows of 7.1 points and 6.0 rebounds per game in what would be his final season in the NBA, as he decided to retire in the fall of 2002 due to a back injury. Hakeem retired as the all-time league leader in total block shots with 3,830, although shot blocking did not become an official statistic until the 1973-1974 NBA season. Shortly after his retirement, his number 34 jersey was retired by the Rockets. For his NBA career, Hakeem averaged 21.8 points on 51% shooting, 
11.1 rebounds, 2.5 assists, and 3.1 blocks in 1,238 career games. About Hakeem Olajuwon national team career. In 1980, before arriving in the U.S., Hakeem played for a Nigerian junior team in the All-Africa Games. This created some problems when he tried to play for the United States men's national basketball team initially. Fiber rules prohibit players from representing more than one country in international competition, and players must go through a three-year waiting period for any nationality change. Hakeem was ineligible for selection to the Dream Team as he hadn't become a U.S. citizen. Hakeem became a naturalized American citizen on April 2, 1993. For the 1996 Olympics, he received a FIBA exemption and was eligible to play for Dream Team 3. The team went on to win the gold medal in Atlanta and he shared his minutes with Shaquille O'Neal and David Robinson during the tournament. He played seven out of the eight games and started two, averaging five points and 3.1 rebounds and had eight assists and six steals in seven games. About Hakeem Olajuwon post-NBA life. After retiring from basketball, Hakeem moved back to Houston, where he runs a real estate business and a basketball academy. In the 2006 NBA offseason, Hakeem opened his first big man camp, where he teaches young frontcourt players the finer points of playing in the post. He also serves as a mentor and coach for young players, especially big men, and has worked with stars like Dwight Howard, LeBron James, and Kobe Bryant. He is also involved in various philanthropic and humanitarian activities, such as supporting the Islamic Dua Center in Houston, donating to the victims of Hurricane Harvey, and sponsoring scholarships for Nigerian students. About Hakeem Olajuwon Houses, Lifestyle, and net worth. Apart from his outstanding career, Hakeem is also a successful real estate investor who owns several properties. Some of his houses he owns or his owned are a 2.86 acres of land luxurious mansion in Sugarland, Texas, with four bedrooms, 6.5 bathrooms, a pool, a lake view. A former residence in Northgate Forest, Texas, with four bedrooms, six full bathrooms, two half bathrooms, a spa pool, an outdoor kitchen, a basketball court, and a wine cellar. A historic estate in Clear Lake, Texas, built in 1929 for a wealthy family. It has a Mediterranean-style architecture, 41 acres of land, and a rich history. Hakeem Olajuwon's net worth is estimated to be $300 million. That is all we have for you today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more fascinating life stories. Let us know in the comments what you think about Kevin Garnett's legacy. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.